Hey everyone, great to be back for another devotional. Uh, this week we start off something new for our devotionals. Uh, each week going forward we'll have a theme that just ties uh, all the devotionals that week together uh, in the hopes that it'll be even more of a blessing for everyone who's tuning in. And this week we kick off with uh, each of us sharing from the Psalms. And uh, I'm excited to share with you from Psalm 63. It's always been one of my favorites and realize that it also um, really applies to the time that we find ourselves in uh, in this in this pandemic um, time. And uh, David here in Psalm 63 is in the wilderness of Judah, it says, most likely fleeing from his son, son Absalom, who's trying to take over the throne. And uh, so David is in the wilderness, right? Alone, isolated, threats all around him from the outside, right? We can relate to that. Um, and here we see David uh, earnestly seeking God we see him remembering what it is to be with the people of God that he's longing for. And we also see him finding satisfaction even in his isolation. And so I just want to walk us through this and share some thoughts along the way and hope that you uh, leave feeling encouraged and stirred up for, for Christ. Um, David starts off saying, Oh God, you are my God. Just acknowledging that. He says, Earnestly, I seek you. My soul thirsts for you. My flesh it faints for you as, a, as in a dry and weary land where there is no water. I just read that and it makes me pray and, and, and say to God, God, do I earnestly seek you? God, do I seek you as I would seek out food or water if I was starving to death or dying of thirst? Do I seek you like that, not only in the wilderness and the, and the desert times, but all the time? Do I realize I need you like that every single waking moment? God, help me to be like that more and more. And David goes from this place of earnestly seeking God to remembering, worshiping, worshiping him in the sanctuary with the people of God and the hope that he would be there once again. He says, So I have looked upon you in the sanctuary, beholding your power and glory. Because your steadfast love is better than life, my lips will praise you. So I will bless you as long as I live. In your name, I will lift up my hands. David's remembering being in the sanctuary and seeing the power and glory of God with God's people. And I love um, the streamed services we do on Sundays. Uh, what a blessing it is to have that, that, that technology to do that. And yet it does not replace meeting together as the people of God. There's something special and a special way that we experience God when we gather as his people. I think back to uh, especially the Lent worship night that we did back in February. And man, the, the power and glory and presence of God in that place. And I just long for that, right? To experience that again, as David is longing for that as well. Uh, David has hope that he will experience that again. And, and I have that hope too. And hope that you have that hope. And, and just pray that we have an increased longing for that. So when we finally are together, it's that much sweeter. Uh, and yet, even though David is not with the people of God, he's alone, he still finds satisfaction in the Lord in the loneliest places. My soul will be satisfied as with fat and rich food, and my mouth will praise you with joyful lips. When I remember you upon my bed and meditate on you in the watches of the night, for you have been my help, and in the shadow of your wings I will sing for joy. My soul clings to you, your right hand upholds me. Even in his isolation, right, in, in, in the most loneliest places, in the watches of the night, upon his bed, all alone, David is satisfied with fat and rich food. His soul is, right? He's praising God as he what? Remembers that God is his help, that God is his covering, his protection, his safety, that God's right hand upholds him. Right? Even in the loneliest places we can experience God in a powerful way. And so my hope for us and kind of thought or challenge for tonight or this week is when we go to bed, uh, instead of watching TV to kind of like help us fall asleep or popping in a podcast, which is something that I do routinely, uh, or worrying about the stuff of the day or tomorrow, focus our attention on the Lord. Pray, talk to Him, reflect with Him, meditate on the scriptures. I've had nights like that where an hour, two hours go by and uh, I'm just wired and excited about the Lord and meeting with Him. And the truth is, it's interesting, uh, even though for the lack of sleep, it's after those nights 
I'm the most refreshed and rejuvenated from spending that time with the Lord. Um, and so my hope for us this week is that we would, like David, earnestly seek the Lord, that we would long to be together again, and yet, even in the isolation, um, meet with the Lord. Here, David says that his soul clings to God, but the truth is, is that God is holding on to us, that in Christ, by grace, through faith, we are in his hand, and nothing can take that from us. Uh, not, not a pandemic, not isolation, uh, nothing. That we're his forever. And so I pray that you experience that this week, uh, God with you, and uh, have, have an awesome day. Thank you.